Okay, so uh, what I want to show you is a little bit about the edges of trees and maybe a little bit about branches, all right? So here, let's go. Uh, big brush. The key to doing trees and the edges of trees are using a good sized brush. So I'm going to mix up a nice dark green neutral. And not, I'm not going to dilute the paint at all, but there's a lot of ways of creating edges of trees. One is just by pushing up. And so the other is you can pull, but pulling tends to give a different kind of an edge, but you can pull, but you lift up. You want to keep that edge soft. I've seen people do trees where they scumble the edge like this. Let's say you want to do a pine tree. We're going to go up the middle of the pine tree and then out on the edges. A lot of it is brush pressure. So you can do a lot of things. Now if you need, ever need to come back in on that pine tree and add some detail, or you want to add some leaves, you go with a little bit of a stronger green, a little more ochre. And you begin to add it in there. If you want this tree over here, it tends to be lit a little bit. I'll go back into it and we'll hit that way. The other thing that people don't think about is the tree usually butts up against the sky. And a sky can be anything from a pale white to a neutral gray blue. So you can also paint negatives, meaning you can paint into that tree. Same with this, you can paint. in and get a little bit of deeper area coming back in, maybe a little light coming through a branch. But there are ways of painting like that that are very, very helpful to know. Um, the other thing that I think you need to know is eventually, let's say we do a big tree and this whole thing becomes a tree and we need some branches and we need some tree holes. All right, so that is a nice big old kind of a clumsy tree. Get a few branches that maybe break into that tree. So we're going to take, this is a very small rigger, and you get to keep, I'm going to keep my paint much more wet than it was originally, meaning more medium. When I say more wet, more medium mixed in. And we're going to put a branch that might come up through the tree. Hidden by the tree. And then we're going to go back and we're going to paint in a little bit of what would be maybe the trunk of that tree. With some more wispy type branches. Different types of trees have different characteristics. You'll have some trees that have branches that kind of sneak their way down like this. And this is just a matter of using your brush in such a way where your tree. So wet paint at the end. If you need that wet paint, the other thing is if you need to, you can always put sky holes back into that tree from the background, just like I showed you up in here. A little bit of light coming through here and there. All right, it gives you just a very rough idea as to how to indicate trees. Uh, edges of trees and branches, and there's tremendous amount of characteristics. So if you want to see more, please watch my video. I appreciate it.